Hello, uh, I'm Professor Fiona Irving from Glyndwr University in North Wales um, and I'm here to talk about the Chinese Voices for Social Care project. Um, this is a project that we undertook that was commissioned by the National Institute for Health Research School of Social Care Research to look at the experiences of people from Chinese backgrounds in relation to their um, services for adult social care. And we did that because there is very little research around that area and we know that people are less than satisfied with the care so that we could give recommendations about how it could be improved. Hello, my name is Dr Martin Partridge and I'm a lecturer and researcher in social care and social work at Staffordshire University. In this study we interviewed 15 women and 11 men who were aged between 18 to 70. This group of people were from Hong Kong, mainland China, Singapore, Malaysia and from the UK. Hello, I'm Dr. Echo Yang. I'm a senior lecturer teaching in social work in Liverpool John Morris University. I'm going to talk about the findings of this study. Our study found that it is often not an easy journey for Chinese people to reach social care services. Some of them have to have reached a desperate, desperate situation, such as hospital admission, before they receive any social care services. Language and terminology use has significant effect on level of satisfaction. A lot of Chinese people who have different language skills in English, they are unable to utilize and access social care services, and therefore they have to rely on personal and family resources to manage their difficulties. Chinese people generally do not have high expectations of social care services, and some of them actually do not expect any services at all. It, to some, it results in high levels of satisfaction, but to others, it means they do not engage with services at all. Chinese welfare organizations play a very important role in signposting and providing culturally appropriate services for Chinese people. Modi's allocation, resourcing of these type of services will enhance the quality of life of Chinese people who are in need of social care support. 大家好,今天这个研究是有关乎社会福利提供服务给中国背景的人生活更是英国。赞助商 Health Institute Health Research School of Social Care Research 研究人员 Fiona 广东大学 Martin Staffordshire 大学 Echo Liverpool John Moss 大学 在这个研究中我们访问了15位中国女士和11位中国男士他们是残疾人士收于社会福利的服务他们表达到希望英国政府可以更加了解他们的中国文化因为语言沟通是有问题甚至乎去拿资料是有问题他们大家都是以赖中国社团的帮助所以我们很希望这个研究可以帮助社会福利去进步服务给中国背景的人多谢